restart the video, first you need your monitor, jack station, HDMI cable, USB type C, your phone, and your keyboard and mouse. Now let us unbox and review the Samsung jack station. So this is the front side of the jack station. And if we move it to the back, you see the instruction and some of the specs on different languages. As you can see, there is a diagram showing you how to open up the Samsung DeX and then put your phone in and connect it to your monitor using the HDMI cable and it will work out. And on the other hand, you see that there are port information, the ports that are installed in Samsung DeX. So there are HDMI ports with a capable of USB 4K resolution. Then we have Ethernet cable with a support of 100 megabytes. So that is the max you can go. Then we have two USB type 2.0 and finally a power source of USB type C. Now we're gonna quickly unbox and see what is inside it. So here is the real deal. There's DEX station, charging adapter, we'll see what is inside, so let us just keep the DEX on the side. This is a small user manual, you don't really need it, so you can just keep it where it was. On my right side, you find that there is a charging adapter and USB Type-C cable. I don't recommend you using this, you can just use your S8 or Note 8 charger cable, that will work fine. You can use this in emergency situation or as a backup cable if you lost your first cable. Place your finger on the bottom arrow and gently push and it should slide up swiftly. On the outer frame you can see that there are some small ventilation that is to keep your phone cool. So let us say you connect the power source and put your phone in. It will automatically turn on the fan, the small fan inside so you can see it on the behind when you turn it on and do some heavy task. So basically it keeps your phone cool at all times, which I think it is perfect to keep your battery safe and your phone in general. Now connect all the cables to jacks and make sure the power source is connected as well. Final and most crucial step, make sure that you remove any back case or cases that are applied on your phone. Because even if it's very thin, you might notice that the DEX doesn't work. So make sure to remove it and it should work perfectly fine. Now simply place your phone on the DEX and it should boot up on your monitor itself. Now I'm just gonna quickly input my passcode from my phone and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a screen video of how the DEX looks like. So as you can see right now, I am on Samsung DEX itself, so I'm recording my monitor. So you can see right now, this is how it looks once you buy and set up the Samsung DEX. So you have all these preloaded apps, then if you click on these app drawer, you can see these are all the applications that are within your phone. So some of them are here and some of them are not, or I need to double check on that. I think there is all of them here. Anyways, moving on, you can see that here is the notification and all of those important, it's just like a status bar on a phone. And if you click this, it screenshots the screen itself. Then if you just launch the settings, you see that there is new option called Samsung DeX. If you click on it, then you can set the screen timeout to 60 minutes or less, depending on what, how you want it to be. Then here you can click on wallpapers and you can sele select it from your gallery or you can pick the one which Samsung provided. Then you can put it on home screen, lock screen, or both. And that's how it will look. So you can set it as wallpaper. Then what we have here is a virtual keyboard in Samsung DeX. Let's say you don't have a keyboard, you can just check this option and it will show you 
a virtual keyboard so let us just show you a demonstration here so launch internet then if you click on URL you can see that there is a virtual keyboard so let us see how easy it is so it is very simple it may take some time to get used to but shouldn't be that hard and yeah and as you can see some random spam number was calling me so I don't need to call them then so here is my YouTube let us close that window this too so I'll just disable this since I already have a physical keyboard then here you can show Samsung Dex apps banner so add a banner to your apps screen to download apps optimized for Samsung Dex so it is preferred to keep that enabled and if you have any problems or inquiries you can just click on the top three dots and then contact Samsung staff itself so close that window and let us test the YouTube Okay, it seems that the 1080p is the highest. Okay, we'll keep it that for now and let's see if there is any stuttering or not. Okay, let us test out Twitter. So let me find Twitter. So yeah, over here. You can see it looks nice, although there is some kind of lags. So let us just click on the home. Okay, that's nice. Anyways, moving on, you can see it is usable. However, there are some lags. You can put it in full screen. So yeah, looks nice. Now let us try something else. We have my files. So here you can see all of your files from your phone. And you can adjust it, put it on your desktop, or connect a USB cable and then transfer files over there. Now let us test out something else. So let us so we have Instagram yeah it looks just like the screen of the phone I was hoping for a full screen we'll show you guys in the next video uh, of how to forcefully put this window in full screen mode so if you want to see that do like and let me know in the description below if you want to see that video let us say we launch Telegram. Okay, I don't want to launch WhatsApp because of certain things. So here you go. So Telegram. And here is Galaxy S8 group with around 254 members. So awesome people here. You can see it looks very nice and you can chat with them. And then you, can, you might be able to add the emojis. Then let us see if there is something else. Well, yeah, that's basically it. Then you have the option here where you can attach your galleries, or files, location, music. And then here what we have is you can, so there is some commands in which you get some sort of help or stats, download, hand come office. It's basically a similar software but without the support of Microsoft and shows as optimized for a Samsung DeX so it should be best compared to Microsoft Word or Excel
So once the installation has been completed, just press on new tab. And then you can just type in, for example, I or test new world. Then you can save it or change the template. Save it as or save as PDF. You can check the info and you can set it as password so others can access unless they have the password. You can put page setup. You can print it as well. And then if you go to settings, you can create a backup just in case if the, there is any error or if the software closes by error or whatnot. So cool feature. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try something else. So let us click on files, then document template. So there isn't much. So we'll just close that. Nothing special there. Then let us see what else is there. So I think it is basically a Microsoft Word implemented in this program. However, if you have, let's say, Microsoft Excel, then you can view it and edit it as well. But you cannot create Microsoft Excel or PowerPoint here. Only Word document. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.